We've established that the body reacts more quickly to concentration changes than to volume changes. But now let's talk about how it reacts. So let's say that your concentration of sodium ions went up. So I'm going to draw in a bunch more sodium ions here. What are the kidneys going to do to bring that concentration back down? If I asked you to come up with the most obvious response to that question, I think what you'd probably say is, well, the kidney is just going to try to get rid of some of those sodium ions. And that would work. That would be one possibility. But there's actually another possibility which would also work, and that is that the kidney could add in some water. Because if you add in some water, it's going to decrease the concentration of all these solutes. So these are two different approaches, and theoretically the body could use one or both. But it turns out that actually it uses this somewhat less intuitive one. It actually adds in more water rather than getting rid of sodium ions. So what's the result of this? Well, we start with an increase in sodium. That would cause an increase in sodium concentration. And that causes the kidney to increase the amount of water in your body. And in just a second, we'll talk about how it does that. And water obviously takes up volume. So together, these things are going to cause an increase in extracellular volume. And you could also imagine the opposite situation where you have, for some reason, a decrease in the amount of sodium in your extracellular space. And the way the kidney is going to correct that is not to add sodium, but to get rid of water. That'll bring the concentration back up. And so that, of course, will decrease your extracellular volume. So you can really almost think of this as a paradox because it's very confusing and it's easy to forget. The paradox is to monitor and to change sodium concentration, your body doesn't actually add or remove sodium ions. It adds or removes water. And how does the body change the amount of water here in response to the sodium concentration? Well, there's actually two main ways that it does that. The first way is thirst. If you have an increase in sodium concentration, you're going to become more thirsty, so you're going to go find a glass of water and drink it. And that's going to increase the amount of water. And the second has more to do with kidneys. The second is changes in water excretion. And the idea there is, an increase in sodium concentration is going to cause you to excrete less water. So you're going to hang on to more water. So you're going to get more water in your extracellular space. Whereas a decrease in sodium concentration means you want to decrease your amount of water. So you're going to excrete more. So you're going to urinate out more water. So these two mechanisms affect how much water is in the body. And so they affect what we call water balance. And once again, I want to reiterate that this is a bit of a paradox because water balance is not actually about balancing the amount of water in your body. It's about balancing the concentration of things like sodium.